We begin tonight with the breaking news. Senator Al Franken speaking with reporters for the first time since those allegations of sexual misconduct surfaced. The Minnesota Democrat saying he's embarrassed and ashamed over those accusations and that he's heading back to work tomorrow to regain the trust of the people he let down. This has word emerged tonight that Congressman John Conyers of Michigan is stepping aside from his leadership position on the House Judiciary Committee over complaints about his conduct. ABC's Gloria Rivera on Capitol Hill starting us off. Tonight, Senator Al Franken facing questions for the first time since sexual misconduct allegations against him. This uh, interview to I air tonight on Minnesota say, Station WCCO. Yes. And I have a long way back. I have a long way back to win back the trust of the people of Minnesota. I've let the people down. Four women have accused the Minnesota Democrat of inappropriate touching. Franken also spoke with Minnesota Public Radio. This whole thing has been... Um, you know, in, embarrassing, and it's been difficult. This has been a shock to me. I would never intentionally do that. Two of the women claim he groped their backsides during a campaign photo op at a state fair. Well, I take photographs at the state fair with thousands of people. I'm, you know, I'm someone who, you know, uh, hugs people. But Lindsey Menz did not think the contact was incidental. Al Franken pulled me in towards him and then put his hand on my rear. Leanne Tweeden in this photo was the first woman to come forward. Franken calling it inexcusable. I am ashamed of that photo. She didn't have uh, any ability to consent. She had every right to feel violated by that photo. Franken says he is not resigning and will fully cooperate with the Ethics Committee investigation. Also dogged by accusations of sexual harassment, long-serving civil rights advocate Michigan Representative John Conyers. Former staffer Melanie Sloan says she was repeatedly berated and belittled by him. I walked into his office having been called up to brief him on something and he was walking around in his underwear. In a new statement today, Conyers says he will step down as a ranking member on the House Judiciary Committee, but not give up his seat. I deny these allegations, he said. I very much look forward to vindicating myself. Longtime ally Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi still standing by Conyers. We are strengthened by due process. Mm -hmm. Just because someone is accused, you, and, and was it one accusation? Is it two? I think there has to be. John Conyers is an icon in our country. And Gloria joins us live from Capitol Hill tonight. Gloria, Congresswoman Pelosi called on Roy Moore to take himself out of the Alabama Senate race, but she's saying Conyers deserves due process. Tom, one difference for Pelosi is that with Moore, a minor is involved. Roy Moore accused of the sexual assault of a minor. And with Conyers, Pelosi says zero tolerance means consequences on the Hill and a full investigation should go forward. Tom? Gloria Riviera from Capitol Hill tonight. Gloria, thank you.